Hey guys, Battery Bob here. Um, back after a long absence and I'd like to sit here and talk to you about fuses and what they do for batteries. Okay, so what is a fuse? Well, from Wikipedia, a fuse is an electrical safety device that operates to provide overcurrent protection or protection from a short circuit. Now, what is a short circuit? Well, again, a short circuit is an electrical current that allows current to travel along an unintended path with no a very low electrical impedance. So why do we need fuses? Well, in the battery world, we need fuses to protect you from bad things happening like a fire, a, an explosion, venting, in case your circuitry or something else causes a short circuit. So I'd like to show you on the whiteboard what a short circuit is in a, in a battery diagram. All right, so I drew a couple battery diagrams on the board here to show how a short circuit gets applied to a circuit. So over here on the left, we have a battery, a fuse, and the positive and negative leads. So if a short circuit occurs, say, like you touch the two wires together or your electronics fail, you basically have a pathway that goes between the negative and the positive. So you have uninterrupted path for the current to flow like this. So once the short circuit occurs, this fuse opens, stopping the current. And of course, stopping the current will prevent battery incidences like explosions, fires, or damage to your electronics. Over here is the same battery diagram. I want to show what happens if a short circuit occurs like inside the fuse. Well, the current will flow like this, the fuse will not open, and the short circuit will continue. The whole point of this is showing you that the fuse is there to protect you from an external short circuit that may occur from handling, testing, or your electronic devices. Fuses are made to open very, very quickly. When a battery short circuits, the amount of current rushing out of the battery will be in the many, many amps. Like a typical lithium battery, 20, 30, 40 amps. A lithium ion battery, 80 to 100 amps. So that's a lot of current that the fuse has to interrupt in a very short period of time. Luckily, all the fuses being used in batteries will open very quickly. This chart shows the time to open for a fuse that are typically used in a battery. You see here, if you're uh, pulling about 100% of the ampere rating of the fuse, one amp, five amps, 10 amps. It's gonna take four hours. 200% one second. You need 400% to open that fuse within 30 milliseconds. Now, as I said, a battery is gonna discharge at incredibly high rates under a short circuit, like 20, 30 amps. So you're gonna see well in excess of 400% of the uh, current rating of the fuse and it will open up the fuse in a very, very short time. Now I'm gonna show you a demonstration of a, at an outline cell that I'm gonna short circuit and show how fast the, uh, the fuse opens. So I'm gonna do a demo of a fuse opening up with a short circuit. What I have in front of me is an ordinary Duracell D cell, a typical fuse that's used on a battery, a, a Pico fuse, and multimeter, which I'm gonna to use to um, demonstrate the fuse opening and show you how fast it's going to open. So what I have is I have the fuse connected to the positive and I have the negative lead coming off the battery, which I'm going to touch to the fuse, which will cause a direct short circuit. So first I'm going to put on my safety glasses and then I'm going to activate the, uh, the tone warning for a circuitry that is complete. So once I touch the fuse, that tone should stop. So I'm gonna take the negative lead of the battery and touch it to the side of the fuse, not connected to the positive. So as soon as I touch it, it's gonna go off that quick. So that quick amount of time, I short circuit the battery and cause that fuse to open. 